Hello everyone and welcome to X4 Foundations, a game that has been sitting in my game library for quite some time, waiting for me to pick it up again after a lot of updates. I did get it when it was first released because I did play the other X games and I thought they were great and I spent a lot of time in them and I was looking forward to this, but as with the other X games, uh, it could have done with some extra updates, so I waited. And I've waited four and a half years. You can see the save game up there, version 1.2. Uh, I only played an hour in that one. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I'm back. And we will try it. And basically, I'm probably a newbie. But I do have my latent memory of the old games. And basically how things work and who people are and, you know, the Boron. And I don't actually have... Kingdom End. I did, even though I wasn't playing it, get two of the DLC, uh, Split Vendetta and Cradle of Humanity, but I did not get Tides of Avarice and Kingdom End. I will consider getting them depending on how this playthrough goes. Uh, so back in the day I played a lot of this and EVE Online. Um, I wasn't that big on EVE Online. I, I sort of entered EVE Online late, uh, and so I didn't really get into the corporation thing that deeply. Uh, and yeah, so I didn't really catch on to EVE Online quite as much as this. This is like a single player EVE Online in a way. Uh, but uh, I, I don't think they probably like being compared to EVE Online. I don't know how they feel about that, the developers, I mean. But anyway, I'm gonna just start a new game Tired because. Of the shuttles? Want to fly wherever you want, whenever you want? Then what you need is a pilot's license. And what's the best place to get one? That's right, Chase Winger's Flight School. Alright, well you know what, I, I feel like maybe I should In be a Terran cadet. ...of the escalating tensions between the United Space Command and the Commonwealth, culminating in the destruction of the Taurus Eternal. The people of the solar system welcomed the seclusion the Jump Gate... I want to be around Mars and everything. ...in isolation, they prospered, and... So okay, I'll, I'll be a Terran cadet, we'll see Ever how that since goes. since I can remember, I have dreamt of seeing Earth humble origin of our species up close. Since I was born on a trading vessel in the far orbit around Titan, the core of the solar system remains, according to protectorate policy, beyond my reach. Aww. That is, until I have made a name for myself. Having recently graduated All right, I mean, it's sort of like how it was in the old I X Games. to do just that. We have to unlock the core systems. We don't get to visit Earth right away and everything. Space isn't remote at all. Hours drive away, yeah? It's true. Uh, as space is closer than the nearest Costco, for sure. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, okay, throttle seems to be working, and I've got uh, negative direction on it. again while we're stuck with maintenance duty in Mars of all places. Well, we got Mars, alright. Fairly adequate satellite. Okay, my controls still seem right. Okay. As if anyone's gonna attack our backyard. Yeah, I I love the tension of the games with uh, of the games with the xenon and cock and they and the pirates. I guess we're going over here, right? When you enter a system and they're not really paying attention to you, but they could eventually pay attention to you. And you try and sneak by. One's fine. Go check that satellite over there. Oh, just over there. Over this way. Okay. Inconspicuous satellite. Frog. Okay. Seriously? I guess I can't We're target that. Months out of cadet school, and they still bob us off with housekeeping jobs. We should be out there. Within Man, the they're reading your communications. They gotta demote you. <laughs> you keep complaining like this. Uh, I don't know why uh, pressing T for target didn't uh, target the thing I'm aimed at, but I guess we're not allowed to. I don't know. I'll have to check what key it is to target it. Wait, that one's missing. Why oh, it's missing. That's why I can't target it. Deploy satellite. Fishing one satellite at position. Deploy a new one. <laughs> See, they don't even care. Okay, stop complaining. Um, so... How do I deploy one? Okay, I think... We'll try the quick action menu first. 
Deploy civilian satellite. Okay. Okay. There we go. Raibu Hurricane. Okay, I need to change my name. Keeping us away from the fight on purpose. Trained pilots are among the most vital resources of the Terran okay. Protectorate. Terran Raise airspace. To decimate entire squadrons of adversaries through superior maneuvers. All right. You, by contrast, have none of these qualities. <laughs> oh, the the AI is Thanks, no. rough. Okay, I guess we go over here. Check on your wingmate. I do have aim assist on, I don't have auto roll. It seemed to indicate that I should be going towards this even though the message says check your wing on your wingmate, so. Uh, I guess the wingmate's right there. Satellite, satellite. Satellite, satellite. Lots of satellites. We gotta have a disappearing satellite problem? Oh, this the wingmate's right there. Uh, diagnostics are taking a tad long on this one. You go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Not a bad looking ship. Yeah, uh, I guess we're supposed to show off our superior maneuvers to these useless tin cans. Hush. Feedback <laughs> forwarded. Yeah, I told you they were listening. He's gonna be, like, a janitor on a space station at this rate. No, well, I guess I can boost. Okay, can I... Satellite. Satellite. Alright. I wonder how to run diagnostics on a decrepit satellite. Oh, we have to repair a satellite. Damaged, huh? You'll have to get out of your ship and repair it. Oh, EVA time! Oh, yeah, it's... This is looking like it could do with a little bit of a... Repair laser. Transporter room control panel. Is that in here? Get up. Get up. Okay. Okay, I can get up. Hey, it's like Star Citizen. Use transporter room. Um, use spacesuit. Uh, enter spacesuit. Confirm. Okay. Okay, now I have to remember a whole other set of controls, don't I? <laughs> Am I healing it? Yeah, that one's completely trashed. And it looks like it's been that way for... 13 Earth days, 22 Earth hours, 9... Damn! Just goes to show that nobody cares about this place. Mayday, Mayday, we have a critical engine failure in Mars Sector, the oh. Botany Club, dead in the void. I repeat. I think I should go back to my ship. Signal. Mission Command, we have a civilian ship signaling distress from the outskirts of the sector. Apparently they're having some sort of emergency. Uh, engine failure. Permission to investigate. Mars doesn't do accidents, Cadet. Oh, yes, we do. Permission granted. Proceed <laughs> with caution. Okay, how do I get in there? Oh, finally, some action. Let's put our maintenance skills to good use for one um, set. Dock permission? Docking granted. Uh, I have to dock? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, I, I don't know. Now, how did that long-range scan work again? Open ship menu and press... Oh, that, that's for the scan. No, I need to get into the ship first. Oh, uh, I'm gonna bump into it. Oh, no. Oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, ship menu. Or press uh, uh, shift 3. I should do shift 3. Um, let me get into my seat first. Okay. Shift 3. Navigate unknown sectors. I think this is a known sector, but okay. I guess we're going over to the yellow marker. Okay, well, there's definitely shooting going on. 
Why hasn't he communicated with me? Satellite, satellite, satellite. Ooh. Well, well. Satellite, sat Baldrick. Um, he just shot that guy. I don't know what to do about that. I was not communicated with. Signal will emit when releasing the fire button. Hold down the secondary fire button. Which one is that? It's not that one. It's that one. That's what I should have done. Maybe. Oh, okay. That's the nicer ping. Okay, well, I guess we're going in that direction. I don't know what this guy was shooting at, though. I don't know, the radar... I don't quite understand the radar orientation at the moment. It seems to indicate a direction where I'm looking at. A field of view. And does that mean that my target's in that field of view? Oh, okay. Don't worry, citizens. That's... The that's the... Here. Uh, we could see that the whole time in visual range. Anyway. I was not expecting that that was the target because we could see it pretty darn clearly without using a long-range scanner or anything. Oh, Xenon ambush. Okay. Okay, that, uh, my shots are not going anywhere. Oh, there. I've got side-mounted guns, apparently. My guns... I have no idea how those shots work, but it seems to be the dots on the on the HUD right here. There's dots right there, and that's where I'm shooting, but that's weird. I'll have to review how to lock on things. Well, what are we doing with this now? Nelly, analysis. Classification. High tech trader. Fancy Pro. damage. Deceased. Cargo. Classified. Reconstructing events. Processing. That sounded like disease instead of deceased. Processing. Permission has been denied. Investigation terminated. Cover up. That's quite enough. Our specialists will take over from here. And you, cadets. Will hear from me shortly. Dismissed. Oh, but we received a payment of twenty-five thousand. Essential work. Uh, did we break some sort of protocol? Man, you've been breaking uh, protocol from the very beginning. In my profile. Well, at least that maintenance task has been cleared, eh? So I guess we're officially on recovery. Uh, let's find something else to do until Mission Command comes back to haunt us. I'll stick with you. I really don't want you sticking with me. Um, let, let me practice docking somewhere, maybe. There's a jump gate, though. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We should investigate the other stations and figure out where to pick up a set of module. So, I'm gonna do that instead. It's a shorter trip. Okay, let's see if one of the other stations is a trading station where I can pick up that kind of module. So far it's feeling a lot more like the old X Games than it might have during launch. I don't know if anybody else is going to be interested in this game, but... I mean, watching me play it, but... Terran Station Security. Baldrick. Baldrick. What's the station in front of me? Maybe in my map I already have that information. Uh, Terran Wharf. Supply factory. Orbital supply base. It's tough to target what I want to target right now, and I'm not too sure. Oops. Bad guy? Short range transporter. Criminal? Hostile? Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, Terran Wharf. Now it's targeting the Wharf. So, information... 
I is not target information. Comms? Well, it seems to be targeting the wharf, but when I press C, it doesn't give me comms for it. Hmm. Well, anyway, we do have another objective, so maybe I should just go to that. But I do want to go to the station, so we'll see. We'll see about the station first. Maybe there's an upgraded targeting module available somewhere. So how do I recover my plot missions? Uh, what the, the guy had said that we should go be a border patrol thing. Maybe that's just the mission that is in my log right now. Toggle travel mode. I wonder what that means. I should have done... I'm sure there are plenty of tutorials and I could probably still access them, thankfully, but... Travel mode charging. Travel mode... Oh, travel mode is really fast. Oh, okay, okay. I don't need Seta anymore. Okay, I get it. We've got this travel mode thing. Where we're going two kilometers per second. Oh, this is nice. I didn't realize this was a thing. You can't turn very quickly, but you go very fast. Alright. That makes me feel better. Okay. Um, well, while we have travel mode, let me investigate the other stations here. See if they have other things that I want. I think we're all set, really. I should just start trading stuff. But I don't know what... The, the trading capacity of this is probably manageable, though. No, oh, that's a big ship. Got some nice radiators on. Silken carbide mill. So this uh, sells Terran MREs from a silicon carbide mill? And silicon carbide, well, that's more expected. But then... Over here we've got something selling silicon carbide for 1385 so these guys are not making silicon carbide as well as they need to. Oh, it was combining these two. That's why Terran MREs were coming from there. Okay. Uh, Terran MREs are being sold for 58 credits there. And these guys are only buying at 50. <laughs> uh, well... These guys are only buying at 33. You guys suck. <laughs> um, but these guys need medical supplies. Alright, there was a medical supply thingy here. This guy, they're selling it at 71. They're selling at 71. These guys are buying it at 45. They've got, like, none of that. Usually when they have none, I would expect them to pay up. But apparently not. Well, anyway. Yes, this travel mode is nice. I didn't expect it because I, I don't think we had it in the other games, so. Sold wares. It doesn't seem to sell Computronic substrates. Or it's not letting me buy them, maybe. Maybe... Maybe the pricing is because of my reputation. That's another thing. Okay, well, I guess we should just go with the missions that are offered. Defenders of Saul. Official recognition. We certainly want that. Peace and stability. That's a medium. As well. But we don't get official recognition. So we should accept that. And what do we need to do? Okay. Escort crucial war tr uh, support transport. Deploy mines against Xenon mines. Patrol Soulborn militia outpost. And that's just that's the briefing. Okay. Does it? Oh, mission command now. I figured you two would jump at this opportunity. Do not disappoint me. Please halt. We will be scanning your inventory. I am. I'm the military. Understood. You're clean. 
Go about your business. Okay, well... Please hold. We will another one? Inventory. Oh, that is familiar. Well, I definitely don't want to um, be a pirate That's around fine. here. You can go now. Okay, alright. I'm going to activate the travel mode. We're going to the asteroid belt. So this start would only be available with the Cradle of Humanity DLC though. Okay, which end do I go in? <laughs> it looks like the lines are going that way, so I'll, I'll go on. Wow, they're busy. I guess these are just one-way accelerators. Which is probably safer. Nothing worse than materializing at your destination and finding somebody waiting to go the other way and then annihilating against each other. Busy place. That's another nice thing about the X Games, the ambient traffic that goes on. Very atmospheric. Two asteroid belts. Okay, when do things happen? Okay. Oh, a little bit of awkward wondering there. You are approaching Tyrwin restricted space. Please divert your course. Okay, so this is just a cutscene. This is not related to the animation for investments to Terran Patrol. For the accelerator. Opportunities to make profits. Taladi, yes. We are not interested. We insist that you divert your course. But we can surely achieve mutual benefit from Negative. We demand that you change course immediately. Maybe we can persuade you with valuable information about... We order you to change your course immediately, or we will be obliged to take measures to protect the safety and security of this system. Okay, okay. Changing course. Boy, the Taladi are pushier than normal. from this unfortunate loss of opportunity are split equally between each of us. If you say so. I'm pretty sure you were gonna take a bigger cut. <laughs> okay, we have to worry about the crucial war support transport. Uh, we should probably keep an eye on the Taladi vessel because they're mighty suspicious and everything. And big. How did the Taladi transport get all the way into the asteroid belt? I mean... Where's security? Maybe they have a jump drive. Jumping right into the asteroid belt seems like it would take some guts, and I don't associate the Talati with guts. They're the Ferengi of the X series. But are we supposed to dock at with the I don't I'm not entirely clear. I think we were supposed to escort the war transport to this, right? I don't know. This was the next so this target. This is the whole Saul Bourne militia business that's been all over the news. Some say uh, it's because so. of increased xenon activity. Others that it's some sort of uh, publicity stunt. Or even a political power play against the Intervention Corps. Uh, well, I'm not one to complain. You're definitely one to complain. Not this time, anyway. <laughs> Whatever this time, anyway. Okay, fine. Books. Fine. You acknowledge you complain most of the time, right? Militia, squadrons, and foreign auxiliaries. Those of you who were not lucky enough to be born on Terran soil, let me hereby welcome you formally into the ranks of the first and last defenders of the Gate Network. And to those who are Saul born or even Earthborn, even? to resist the temptation of heroism and put the defense of our sanctuary first 
is a sign of providence and true courage. By coming here, you have already made Earth proud. Captain, the ball is in your court. What? <laughs> okay. Please halt. We'll be hey, it's the police board. again. Way to break the mood. This is Captain Nowak Lee of the military supply transport Silverback. Another welcome from me and my crew, and glad to see the militia is keeping its promises. All squadrons, prepare for liftoff. Oh, okay. Now we're escorting the war transport. That's those guys, alright. It's probably a match speeds of target thing, but I'd prefer to do it manually anyway. Are you going into that gate? Okay. I guess we have to be close to it. And I'll start. Or should we go in first? I don't know. Feels like we should go in first, but. I mean, I guess there's definitely a safer approach into one of these two way gates. The incoming stuff will go into the center. Oh, no, they're. Uh, where are they going? Hold on. Are they going into the gate or not? Uh, they seem to pass behind that thing. I'm confused. Well, I'm gonna go through the gate. I'm just gonna aim at them and... Maybe this is the wrong way. Oh, uh, the gate goes the other way? Or maybe not. I don't know. Entering Xenon on fast approach. Engage while we prepare countermeasures. Boy, you're calm. Okay. Oh, I was waiting for this. Yeah, time for a real fight. Okay, now my guns are right at the center. That's good. And auto aiming. All right. Okay. Next. Good old-fashioned shooting up stuff. This is sort of what I was looking for. Ooh, little debris bits that we can pick up stuff from. Very nice. Or right, let's go with this one. Oh, that's too far away. Oop. So far they're pushovers, but, you know, they're still early in the game. Oh, don't hit me. Worst thing is that they crash into you. That's the closest one? Guess so. Okay, that was easier than I thought it would be. But this is a very early mission and it was only medium difficulty and everything. Recon fighter? Alright, well... Uh, should we... Nah, I think we'll approach normally. Okay, we can see the relative speed here. Oh, they're, they're zooming. I can't catch that. They're just reconnaissance. Okay, well, I have to catch up to... This is your my... captain speaking. On behalf of the crew of the Silverback, I would like to thank you for your continued support during these turbulent episodes. We should be able to manage turbulent the episodes without Fancy. interruptions. <laughs> A piece of cake. 
Let's see what Mission Command has in store for us next, huh? Okay, approaching the outpost. Frog. Speaking of which, which planet is this? <laughs> Armored lockbox. Oh. Oh. Can't? That would be nice. I don't want to trigger our own minds. Uh. I see they're still ejecting the same old multi-purpose lockboxes in the hopes that someone will pick them up eventually. It's a miracle they didn't drift away. Hijacked by Newton's vengeful spirit. See if you can That's spot them it. with your long-range scan. Oh, uh, here we go again with the long-range scan. I still don't know. Um. I still don't know exactly how to long range scan. Oh, well, there's a lockbox. I should have been able to see that. Lockbox. Okay, we're picking these up. What are we doing with these? Unlock lockbox. Hmm. How do we unlock the lockbox? Do I have to get out to unlock the lockbox? Well, we got a discount. Known associate. Very small. Okay, so uh, we'll get better prices somehow. Here, lockbox. Nope. I'm I'm just gonna get out. I'm gonna take a close look. Okay. At, maybe I should save game first. <laughs> save game. All right, first save, first manual save game in many years. Where are we anyway? Oh, Getsufune. So we're uh, we're out here. We're not anywhere near the Terran system. That's why I didn't recognize the planet. Okay, spacesuit. Probably dangerous. I barely docked last time. How do I do Lock anything box. with that? I mean, we were talking about mines, so I'm partly worried that it's a mine. But then it says it's a lockbox, and there's a lock that I have to unlock. Can't do too much. Hey, how do I look, by the way? Well, external view isn't exactly wonderful either. Okay, well, I don't know. I'm going back into the ship. I'm not entirely sure what to do with the lockbox. Well, last time I was very forgiving, so I probably don't have to get too close. Okay, thank goodness. Alright. Oh, fudge, I'm going close to it. Well, it's not a mine. Well, not in that sense, anyway. But I still don't know what to do with it. Well, deployables. It's definitely a deployable. Actions. Unlocking is not an action that we can do. Object info says I, but pressing I doesn't seem to give me anything. Scan object. Shift F. We'll try that. That doesn't seem to do anything. I and Shift F don't do anything with this object. Guidance. Container magnet. Activates the container magnet to attract nearby containers to your ship. I don't think that's magnet is actually pulling it. Yeah. 
I don't think it reads this as something that we can pull in. Alright, I'm at somewhat of a loss. I need somebody to tell me what I'm supposed to do with lockboxes. I'm gonna look it up on the forums, I think. And I'll uh, continue this in the next episode once I've figured it out. So, I'll check out what to do with the lockboxes, and then we will continue next time. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.